bio subject one of the most oldest and sophisticated pc performance upgradation tips which i have never given to any normal user except expert one BIOS upgrade on your motherboard, that means your desktop or your laptop can bring improved functionality, compatibility and system stability. Suppose you have a 5 year old motherboard and you just plugged in a newly released graphics card on your system and it is not behaving according to your expectation or manufacturer specification what to do you have tried everything but have you tried upgrading your motherboards bios yet that might be the solution hello everyone welcome to another tech tutorial video on my channel galaxy station if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe I have regularly uploaded desktops, motherboard, BIOS upgradation related video. If you have not checked my past videos, then take a look on the video description. In this video, I will update my Gigabyte B560M motherboard's BIOS and I will do everything from scratch so if you have not have any experience of bios upgradation you can do it after watching this video okay at first you have to know your motherboard's model how to find it your motherboard's model number is written on your motherboard which can't be accessible in some times then you have your computer's purchasing invoice it should be written there if you have not have it then go to search then type dx diag click on the run command yes this is it your motherboard manufacturer is gigabyte and system model number is b560m oras elite and installed bios version of your motherboard is f8 this is the information we have needed to update our bios then go to google type your motherboard model number gigabyte b 560m or ras elite usually the first link appeared in the google search result is from your motherboard manufacturer yes this is it this is my motherboard then go to support choose your operating system mine is windows 10 64 bit then expand bios yes f9 is the latest bios version and my system has bios version of f8 this BIOS has been released on 15th March 2023 and it has improved RTX 3060 graphics card compatibility. Usually, updating your computer BIOS can provide several benefits including improved system stability. BIOS updates often include bug fixes and improvements that can increase the stability and reliability of your system. Then BIOS update can provide better performance. BIOS updates can also include optimizations that improve system performance particularly when it comes to boot times and overall system responsiveness. 
then BIOS updates can help ensure that your system remains compatible with the latest hardware and software. This is particularly important if you plan on upgrading to newer components or running newer software. Then BIOS updates can also address security vulnerabilities helping to protect your system from potential then BIOS updates can also address system vulnerabilities helping you to protect your systems from potential security threats. But it is important to note that BIOS update carries some risks particularly if the process is not done correctly. It is also crucial to follow your manufacturer's in instructions correctly and avoid any interruption or power failure during the BIOS update procedure. In some cases, a failed BIOS update can cause irreparable damage to your system. Therefore, it is always advisable to take necessary precautions such as backing up important data before updating your BIOS. And for this particular model of BIOS, this is the back ports. There is a specific USB port which is labeled as BIOS USB. You should insert the BIOS update file containing USB drive on this USB drive. This is recommended by your manufacturer. You can also put it here here no problem but gigabyte recommends to use this usb port for bios upgrade okay let's start the procedure i have uninterrupted power supply okay i am downloading the bios this is a zip file download is completed then this is the usb drive i have connected to that usb port i need to format it first ntfs is okay i am copying the file here one thing to note your motherboard can read rar file you have to unzip it via extraction okay this is the bios file and there is also a pdf file containing how to proceed the update i will show everything in this video Okay, BIOS file is ready on my USB drive. And this is the main BIOS file. This is the supporting files. I'm going to restart my computers. Then I will go to enter BIOS settings. My computer is restarting. press delete here to enter the BIOS menu. Okay. In the system info, you can see the model number of your BIOS, BIOS version, BIOS version date. Then, at the bottom there is QFlash and QFlash is the gigabytes built-in utility that helps you to update your BIOS. Press enter button on your motherboard. Okay. This is showing the 
current BIOS file. Now click update BIOS. At the bottom, yes, already my pen drive has been selected by QFlash because the USB drive has been connected to the BIOS specific USB port. This is the BIOS file. I have to select it. Okay, selection is done. Then click next. Are you sure? Yes. This is verifying and reading the file. This process is important. Okay, this is it. This tells you this is the correct BIOS file for your motherboard and this is a updated BIOS file. If you have see any discrepancy in this model number information, then you should about the upgradation process. Okay, the moment has come. Press to start. This is the moment you need to be careful. From this moment on, for the next two to three minutes, you should have uninterrupted power supply and don't press anything unless you have been told to. Don't connect or disconnect any devices on your motherboard okay i'm pressing start the prompt tells me in order to make complete update system is going to shut down q flash will continue after restart the most important thing is you don't need to do anything like pressing f12 or delete the computer or q flash will do everything on your behalf you don't do anything unless you have been told to okay i am clicking okay everything turned off system speaker is beeping system reboots another time okay it is again verifying the file Okay, BIOS update process has been started. Remember, even though this is only a 30 megabyte of file, but BIOS is a dinosaur-like component it only has reading or writing speed of kilobyte per second so this 32 megabyte file needs a lot of time to complete be patient and i strongly recommend never update your BIOS unless you have a uninterrupted power supply. If my power supply gone dark now, my motherboard will be dead. There is no way to fix it. Yes, many of you can tell me Gigabyte has dual BIOS. Okay, that is another thing. That is a backup thing but forget that that is for extreme situation <laughs> yes like this but i don't rely on that
I am sure that this is the longest three or four minutes of your life. Be patient. Don't touch anything, please. Don't press anything. Don't click anything. Okay, BIOS update process has been done. My system is rebooting in one second. My computer has been shut down totally. Restarted. Again, don't press anything. If there is any remaining procedure, Q flash will do that. My computer turned off again, turned on. System speaker is beeping. There is still nothing on the display. My computer turned off again, turned on, third time, in a row. This is the most intense moment. I don't know what is going on. I don't know. Yes, now I know. BIOS updation process is successful. Okay, my system turned off again, but I have seen my display. That's a relief. My motherboard is not dead. Okay, yes, Windows is loading. That means BIOS upgradation process is successful. I didn't murder my motherboard okay system is turned on now i have to check the installed bios version via dx diag dx diag yes f9 so my bios updation process is successful hello friends this is it this is how you can upgrade your Gigabyte motherboard BIOS. I have made this video very easy to understand how you can easily upgrade your Gigabyte motherboard BIOS without any prior experiences. Just follow my video, follow the instructions of your motherboard manufacturer's company. Don't do anything extra okay i think this video is very helpful please like this video and feel free to comment in the comment section if you have anything to ask thank you